So another way to version, and I really like this way, is through use of accept header because we should typically use accept header anyways because that tells us, you know, what we are accepting like application JSON. So in addition to that, th this actually takes some parameters. And one of the parameters we can add is a version. We can do this like version equals two. So we can look at this accept header at the runtime and determine what version they're asking for. So in order to do that, we'll do the same in our counting case controller selector class that we have. We're going to, instead of our previous get version from, from a custom header, we're going to create another method and this one is going to be get version from accept header. And then I'm going to go ahead and paste in this method and kind of go through it. It's fairly simple. So we are you know, passing the request like we did before. And then we say var accept equals request headers accept. So this gets our accept header. Then we have to do for each mime in this accept. That's how we loop through the media types instead of the accept. If mime media type is application JSON, because this is the one that we added the uh, parameter to, and then we go through parameters, mime.parameters, and then we use link where name equals version. We ignore the case in case somebody capitalizes it first to default and then return our value. Fairly simple. And then we have our version. Let's see how that works in Fiddler. So in Fiddler, if we go ahead and call execute, and take a look at what we have. We have version one if we don't put anything in our accept header. But then if we go here and we go ahead and add our accept header, which we should have application JSON and parameter version two, then if we execute and we take a look here, we'll see we have a version two. So I really like this accept header way of you know telling yeah which version we want to use.